Well, I made the mistake calling about a, a 88 turbo coupe parked in somebody's yard. I go to look at it, <laughs> and I end up buying, as of now, I bought six of his cars and a tractor. And we're going now to go pick up the first one. I'm probably gonna get, I bought uh, two 87 or 88 turbo coupes, a 90 model super coupe that I haven't even seen. I bought a like early body style Falcon, like 62-ish Falcon two-door, and two four-eyed, like 86 model-ish coupe Mustangs, and a Ford 80 in tractor. So we're gonna go probably get either the Falcon or one of the turbo coupes now and uh, hop back to our house and uh, try to get some of this stuff running. So here we go. We made it here. This is either an 87 or 88 Turbo Coupe Thunderbird. Unfortunately, it's an automatic car. Uh, it's manufacturing eight of 87. Mmm, yeah, rat pee. That's what that smell is right there. But uh, he said this thing has ran like in the last few years. But I don't know how many years he's talking about. Can't even pull that, but anyway. We're gonna see if it'll, I'm gonna put a battery on it and see if he's correct or not on whether or not it will start. We finally got it to pop there. See that, I get air in here. So I have one of these at Roger High School. I had an 88 gold turbo coupe and then I put the motor over into my Maverick if you look at my old videos and my playlist. So I put one of these setups in a Maverick with a Cummins Dodge turbo and intercooler and ran eight O's at 90 miles an hour and eighth. These have an IHI turbo. They have the thicker, better intercooler, the better computer. They had the crazy brakes. I want to put a battery on it just to see if I can get it up on the trailer and uh, see if this thing starts. Let's see if it lets any smoke out here. It's got a little sizzle to it. He says the guy, thing's got the key in it, so. Well, it's been a while since I've been in one of these. I'm really afraid that a snake's gonna crawl out or a wasp. Oh, it smells just like rat turds. Got some lights on my feet. Oh, we got smoke. Oh, shoot. Unhook it. We got smoke in there. Smoke? <laughs> the console was smoking. I smell it. We don't want that. Let me take that cover off and see. It's probably that light bulb. Ugh. I hope this thing doesn't catch fire because I don't have an extinguisher. Oh, I bet they've chewed that wiring up. Whew, I smell it. I'm a little scared of this. Oh, it smells like rat. I don't know if it's like, I know they have like a lot in here. Let's hook it back up and see what happens. All right, hook the battery back up. I don't want this thing to burn down. All right, let's see what. Somebody left the radio on. Well, looks like we got issues. We're going to just have to trailer this thing. Here's one of the other ones we're, we've got. Get the old pallets off of here. Got dad over here helping us today. Used to have a tarpaulin over it, looks like. We're gonna let him keep it, he might need it. Looks like it used to be red. Please no snakes. Black interior car. No driver's seat. It's a six cylinder automatic. Dash looks pretty good. It's a hard top. Did they make a post? I don't know. Let's see if we can get the hood open. I just love these little cars. This is what I wanted to build before I built my Maverick back in the Dizay. So I don't know what this is, a 206 maybe? 
not really a Ford six cylinder guy. They got really narrow shock towers. When I did my Maverick, I cut the shock towers off, put a Mustang two front end under them. So that's a good mod. Uh, it looks like the casings are flat on this one, of course. Bucket seat car, not bad, huh? It's got some rust in it. You know, it's gonna need the bottoms of the quarters, the doors are bubbling. Looks like it's got some Bondo in the fenders. I don't know if this car has a key. Looks like a screwdriver is a key for the back. This quarter's got some damage on it. We'll probably move the Thunderbird today. This looks like more of a project here. We're good. Go ahead. Back up, babies. excited I always like to look under the car and see what was under there we got a little nestage here you can see where the casings were not too much no parts wonder what's in the trunk of this thing oh god that smell I love the old this is like my old turbo coupe key I think I still have the key to my old turbo coupe because I scrapped it like an idiot all right, let's see. Let's find Jimmy Hoffa's body back here. Oh, okay. <coughs> oh, smell that? Mm-hmm. We got a fuel pump sending unit, so there's an issue. I think that's all the computer for the ABS and program ride control. These were the first cars in America to have program ride control. It was the 87 and 88 Turbo Coupe Thunderbird. The more you know. So this thing still has a catalytic converter under it. Now it may not be the factory one. And this automatic car from memory, well, it's usually my memory is pretty good on this stuff. I think these have a 373 gear Posi 8.8 .8, and they have the disc brakes. I believe these disc brakes are shared with the 93 Cobra Mustang, I believe. But here's the other car. It's obviously not in as good a shape. No title. It's got the snowflake wheels with, looks like, cougar hubcaps right there i don't know if that's the xr7 hubcap we're gonna come back and get this car a different day <laughs> so this car i believe is a five speed this is a t5 car and it smells even more like rat turds than pee i guess that's the same color interior these cars i think had a 355 gear with a five speed car so this is the same setup mine had when right after high school. See, I made this car ram air back in high school. Took the inside headlights out, cut the radiator sport out. I cut the whole factory harness out of this car back a long time ago. We also bought this old Ford 80 in tractor. Well, my wife bought this old Ford 80 in tractor. I didn't even see it sitting here. But it's got, it's apparently got the rare roof option. He's a rat hunter. He knows they're in there. Is there a rat? Can I put him in there? I guess. Come Where are they at, Scooty? He's gonna stink like rat pee. <laughs> All these tires, we didn't even have to put air in them. I mean, they're a little low, but they're really good. They're not. None of them are curbed. I like those snowflake wheels. Hopefully, maybe a rat or two ran out. We've had the doors open now for a couple hours while we went to go eat, but uh, we're gonna unload this one off the trailer and go try to get that Falcon. I'm the proud owner of even more dry rod tires. I won't put too much in them, I don't want them to pop. Don't, don't look straight at my bicep. Don't look at it.
All right, we're back to get the falcon. I'm scared for snakes again. I hope these tires will air up a little bit. I only had two air tanks I could bring. We'll see. Man, that's a long valve stem. That's the XL model right there. You don't ever know about these old cases. I think it's working. I love watching an old tire air up. I don't know why. I've always loved doing this right here. Got a loose lug nut. Oh, yeah, it's going to air up. Hopefully, the whole air is going to get it home. I feel like I've done nothing lately but buy cases. I didn't put so much pressure in those other ones because, you know, just enough to get it up on a rollback easily. Well, it's coming up out of the dirt. Love it. No telling how long this thing's been sitting. That bear not be no snake. Oh, what thank, is that? thank the Lord. That was a close one. This thing, uh, we brought our little tiny plug-in 110 air compressor, so we got a little more air. I don't know if this is going to air up. Come on. Now it's leaking. It's off the thing on it. <sighs> Three out of four ain't bad, I guess. up there pretty easy it's a little rustier than i originally noticed because it was kind of in the dirt but the floorboard on the other side looked pretty weak this one don't seem too bad right there let's see this side it's a little rust Probably you guys up north are like, this thing ain't even rusty. But <laughs> down south, we're pretty picky about our rust. See, it's got driver's floorboard. It must have got rained in on this side or something. Man, these things have tiny little wheels and tires on them. They're so little. I guess that's probably a 13 inch wheel. Yeah, 175 80 13 wheel four lug. All right, we got the dirt report here. I don't see too much. We got a tree root, some flaked off tarpaulin chips. Those things are are good with ranch dip. barely got it in here before the sun set today so two in one day that's not bad this is a big reveal kind of got the okay so we got some old tags from 93 and 96 in here from hamilton and mcmahon county that's some good parts here armrests 
Falcon. Here. Is there anything else that says anything? I don't know. What's in there? Headlight? Old screwdriver? He didn't say it came with tools. Spirit? Cool. All right, we're back. We're gonna try to move another car today. I looked at this car and uh, started looking at it and realizing that I knew what this car was. This car used to be a four cylinder car that I V8 swapped for a friend. And then my brother-in-law owned this car after that. So I actually made this car ram air back in the day, cut the headlight buckets out and put pipes up to the, to the engine. Uh, it had a 89 model 5.0 in it at the time. I rewired this engine bay back when I was like 16 or something. So I kind of have a history with this car, but uh, we're gonna try to clean some junk off of it, get the tires aired up and see if we can sneak it around here and get it out of this uh, place. Holy, that's heavier than I thought. It's full of water. What is this? What is this stuff? Oh my gosh. All stuff here. Hello. Okay. Somebody's old coveralls. Got engine parts and stuff in there. Open this door from the inside, I guess. Yeah, I'm So that thing wasn't wanting to move. I realized I got a bent inner tie rod. So look, this wheel's cut like crazy. And this wheel's not cut hardly at all. But my dad's here now. Maybe we can push it with him. We finally got it pushed back with that bent tie rod. Uh, nothing too spectacular under here. We got bugs everywhere crawling away. Some sort of boot for a shifter probably. What's this? Hey, look at that. Old shield. All right, we're gonna hook a chain to it now. We got that Mustang pulled out where we can get loaded up. There's everything, there's everything that's about out of air. Get this old bridge stone air up. I think it's taking air, yeah. We've had pretty good luck. No, I think the only one that didn't so far is the Falcon. That one tire on the Falcon. I hear it creaking and popping. This thing sits super low. Almost like it's missing springs or something. No telling how long these things have been sitting here. Let's see if it's slotted mag or 
figure out. His valve seems in a weird spot. Um, yeah. Well, it's going back on the bead. Is there a tire? That's what I said. I guess there's a tire. Wow. And that's also a good thing I'm not afraid of straight. I get a little air lamp. It doesn't seem like we have much air. I don't look here, babe. Is it gonna air up? No. We got a hole. Two, well, three out of four. This comes from the Toyota hood. Looks like it sat out in the weather before the hood was on it. It's gonna take truck power. save that tag <laughs> so the last time this thing was driven was 1997 who knows it probably was a four-cylinder car at that point in its life if i had to guess tires are losing air what do we got under here uh, not too much tons of vines thankfully no snakes See how lucky we're on this one. There's that. Nope. No luck on that one. See if this snowflake airs up. Oh, there we go. It's going back on the bead. Look at that 225 60R16. Going up. Getting a little hot. The bugs crawling out. They don't like us messing with this tire. Please. Nope. <coughs> well, we got two out of four. This is a five speed car though. I don't know if it's 87 or 88, but this should have the 355 gear rear end, I think. T5 five speed, 2.3 with the IHI turbo. We're gonna let dad get in this one and drive as well. Uh, maybe there's a squirrel in there for you. We finally got that out of there. It was really uh, a tight squeeze between all those cars. Man, I'm been disappointed about the dirt under the cars lately. I expected to see a little more, really. Looks like some rats have been in here. Okay. I don't know what that door is off of. Is that an international? Right here, the yeah. top of the international over here. I think it's an international. Let's see, we haven't even seen this thing. I'm just going to cover it. Really. It's a big cover. It's pulling out right here or something. Flathead four.
I love her. Rare roof Let's dump this out of them. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't see one. It's really narrow there. Right. Got out of gear. I don't probably doesn't have any brakes. Hopefully the brakes aren't stuck. Oh, I guess I'll go filter. easier than I thought to move this one. Big old tractor prints, like Tyrannosaurus Rex prints. I noticed when it was rolling, those front tires ha still had the, the name on them. They were brand new on the tread, so those tires had not been on there long when it got parked in here. Well, we got a whole line of them. Two four-eyed foxes and the old Ford tractor. And uh, we're gonna load some up. I think we're gonna put this on a rollback because it's got the bent tire on. And then we'll probably put one on my trailer. This winch is slow on this old roller. That thing, front wheels look like the way my feet are turned. Three hours late here. Couldn't really video it because it's too heavy, but we got this grader blade that came with the tractor. Strap the hood down. So we're gonna take the tractor and the Mustang home, drop them off and come back for the other two. Ew, that's Are you digging in in the very back? Your thing's in the ground and you're about to run over the other thing, it looks like. The other weird thing. That's good, mate. That's good. All right, lay it, lay it out just a little bit more. All right. All right, we're back for car number five. I'm going to air that tire up that went flat on us. This is a 505 speed car. So I gotta give him the motor back, I think. So, you gotta air these two up. This one obviously won't air up. So then blow the casing out. This one stayed up pretty good. I 
can smell this car. Mm -hmm. With the windows open, with the doors open. So, got that Mustang loaded up. Now, this car, car number, or vehicle number six, and it's only got two tires in the air up. We're gonna use the rollback. Now it's gonna rain on us. Thankfully, we're at the end of this journey. I'm glad it wasn't raining earlier. Oh, it's raining pretty hard now. Transmission's hanging down because it don't have a cross member. It's out of gear though already. I just need you to push. So the transmission's hanging down so low, it's <laughs> nailed itself to the boards of the trailer. So we're gonna try to figure out a way to strap this thing up and hold it up. Oh yeah, this is gonna work. I don't know why Ford didn't make them this way. They really overcomplicated it. Oh yeah. That's way better than the way they did it from Ford. That wasn't too bad. I was a little worried about unloading this one because of that transmission and the tires and all that stuff. So I don't even know what year these things are, honestly. I mean, I know I know it had to be like an 86 or older coupe, just like this one over here is. This has got to be an 87 or 8 turbo coupe. And that's a 60 to 63 Falcon. So, man, looking good, looking good. We're finally here to get the last one. So we gotta air the tires up on it and get it going. 90 mile super coupe automatic. It's been sitting, the last tag I think was 2002. So it's been sitting almost 20 years. Got a little wet in there, unfortunately. Maybe we can get this thing back going again. Got a spoiler and a sunroof, kind of cool. Hopefully brought enough air. Maybe we'll have good luck with these tires. Come on.
back tires wouldn't air up on it. There's all this junk that was under it. I think it'll work. Not too much interesting stuff under here. Hadn't leaked a drop in 20 years. He bought this car when it was like a year old, so that's pretty neat. It's only got 80,000 miles. It's just sat outside a lot. Time to get it home. All right, we made it to my house now. And I'm gonna see if I can throw the wheels off my other super coupe on here. Oh, yes. Lock and lug nut. Hopefully the key's in the car somewhere. Let's see. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. I don't see a wheel lock though. Look at this goo. What is this? Oh, we got cassettes. Ah, look at that. Found it. Yeah. I really expected this car for them to air up since it wasn't in the dirt. There we go. Well, finally, we got them all home, including the tractor, got them all lined up here. This car is rougher than I was expecting. I never saw this car in person, but uh, like I said, he owned the car uh, since 91, so that's incredible. But got them all lined up here now. Man, I, I mean, I, I've graduated high school, I've graduated college, I've got married, had three kids, and Pretty sure this is the most, uh, it's the biggest moment of my life right here. I mean, how's it getting any better than this? You have this many fox bodies in your yard, you know? This is the high point right here. It's all downhill from here. I don't know how I could go up from here, but stay tuned. We're gonna have videos of trying to get these things running. Uh, probably this one, gonna try to get it running. Gotta get the turbo coupe running, get the Falcon running, get the old tractor running. Maybe even this car, uh, and be some videos of us cleaning these things up because you know they ain't been cleaned up in like 20 years. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Check out my playlists. I got all kinds of playlists of cars I built my Maverick, Starlet, everything's turbo, burnout videos. Check it out. Thanks.